Okay, in this video, we're gonna be doing Calc AB problem set number eight. There's a link to the problems in the description and a link to a playlist of the problem sets. I'm gonna to try to get all of these problem sets done in under 10 minutes because they're supposed to be short assignments. Let's see if we can do it. Um, given uh, dv dr equals three fifths and dr dt equals six, we wanna find dv dt. All right, this to me is an application of the chain rule. It doesn't really feel like it necessarily at first, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color code all the like differentials so I see there's like two DVs, there's two DRs, and there's two DT. So I'm looking for DV DT. And I kind of noticed that if I just take DV DR and multiply it by DR DT, that'll like give me DV DT. Now it looks like you're just simplifying fractions there. Honestly, I, that's how I think about it. I mean, like there are definitely some like strict, strict mathematicians who will argue with that, but like it works out basically. Um, so like the DRs kind of cancel. As long as you can set it up in this fashion, the chain rule will apply. So to find DV DT, all I need to do is take the value of DV DR, um, which is three fifths and multiply it by the value of DR DT, which is six, uh, which gives me 18 fifths. And that's the end of that problem. So that's a chain rule problem. Look out for that. You're gonna see that uh, kind of frequently on the free response questions later in May. Uh, all right, next question. Given the table above, find h prime of negative two for each of the following. h of x is f of x squared. So the function is being squared. So in this case, uh, the derivative of something squared is two times that thing, so two f of x, times the derivative of that thing, so times f prime. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta like keep calm, and the more you do it, the easier it gets. Now we're gonna replace every x we see with uh, negative two. And because in this case, there's not a lot going on, I just read them off the table. So f of negative two is three and f prime of negative two is uh, negative four. So we get two times three times negative four, which I think is negative 24. All right, next up, uh, we're finding the h prime of negative two, four, h of x equals f of x times g of x. So this is just the product rule. So when we use the product rule, we think of it as first times derivative of the second, I should have color coded this, but not going back, uh, plus second times derivative of the first. So we have f g prime plus g f prime in this case. We're gonna plug negative two in for every x that we see, so I'm not gonna make you watch that, um, but that's what we did. And now we're just gonna read off the table, hopefully correctly. So h prime of negative two, f of negative two is three, g prime is six, g is five, f prime is negative four, 18 minus 20, negative two. Not bad, right? So be neat, be organized. Don't be afraid of these notational problems. They're actually a little easier than like the actual algebraic expressions, in my opinion. Um, all right, so h of x is g of x over f of x. This is the quotient rule, but maybe the opposite of how you have it memorized if you memorize it using like f and g. Um, so we're gonna use the quotient rule. So it's going to be here it goes, bottom times derivative of the top, so f times g prime, minus top times derivative of the bottom, so minus g times f prime, all over the bottom, which is f squared, so f of x squared. Every single x that we see is gonna become a negative two, so I did that, and now I'm reading off the table, hopefully I'm reading it correctly. I say that because no one is checking these for me, like I write them and then I look at them and I say to myself, I think that's right, and then I just kind of go with it. If you find a mistake, definitely let us all know in the comments. All right, so I got 38 over nine. Next question. Evaluate the limit as x approaches four from the right. So you need to know one-sided limits from the right, from the left. The only way the limit overall exists is if the limit from the left and the right are equal. Um, so the limit as x approaches four from the right of the absolute value of x minus four over x minus four. This is a famous function that you should definitely know. It's basically the absolute value of x over x um, and then shifted four units to the right. So I'm gonna graph that. So at four, and I mean, you can just think about it. Pick a value bigger than four and plug it in there. You're definitely gonna get like the number divided by itself. And if you take a number less than four and plug it in there, you're gonna get um, the number divided by the negative of that number. So you're gonna get negative one. So it's always one to the right and always negative one to the left. We're approaching from the right. So we're doing this. So our answer is definitely one. That's, that's the answer that we would expect to get. We don't get it, but that doesn't matter for limits. It's just a value that we expect to get, the, the value that the function is approaching. All right, next up. Given that three X plus eight Y equals negative five is tangent to Y equals F of X at X equals negative four, 
find f of negative 4 and f prime of negative 4. All right, so this is a tangent line. It's not written the way I would like it, so I'm going to solve for y. So I'm going to say y is negative 3x minus 5 all over 8. All right, that's our tangent line. So what do we know about a tangent line? We know that if we put in the plug-in, substitute, the um, point of tangency, the function and the tangent line have the same value. So to find f of negative 4, I just need to take negative 4 and plug it into the tangent line. So that's what I'm going to do. So f of negative 4 is going to be uh, negative 3 times negative 4 is 12, minus 5 over 8, so 7 over 8. The other thing we know about the tangent line is that the slope of the tangent line is equal to the slope of the function at the point of tangency. So the slope of the tangent line is equal to f prime of negative 4. The slope of the tangent line is definitely negative 3 eighths. So we'll just write that down. f prime of negative 4 is negative 3 eighths. And there you go. That's another problem set for you. Um, remember, you can watch them slower if you want to. Uh, I will be back in the next one, uh, and I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.